sadly, this will be our last getting started with the Microsoft Graph Toolkit segment of the Microsoft 365 platform call. It's been 15 amazing weeks, um, and I wanted to end up with one last bit that I think is extremely cool. Today's session is about our MGT samples repository that we are introducing today. You've seen sample galleries on the team side of things, on the SharePoint framework side of things, but today we are introducing it for the Microsoft Graph Toolkit. And uh, one of the call to actions we want is if you have any samples you'd like to contribute, like some of the community members already did, I'm going to show you that. We'll be more than happy to have you join this community, get the shout out every couple of weeks on the different community calls, and also share what you've learned, share your experience, because sharing is caring. So let me go on and, and slide through a little bit. So what is the Graph Toolkit? We've learned a lot about the toolkit, but I want to remind you what exactly is a toolkit. A toolkit is a collection of reusable framework agnostic components and auth providers that allow you to access and work with the marks of Graph. Our components are fully functional. They're entirely customizable, and we're going to see that later. And they work with any web framework and on all modern browsers. So if you're looking at capabilities that integrate with Microsoft Graph, like person cards, person components, people, people picker, the Graph Toolkit is your best friend. But why would you use a toolkit? First, it definitely cuts on development time because you can easily add any UI components to your app, any type of web apps, and it automatically gets access to Microsoft Wrap. It can basically abstract you all that complexity. So I'm a very lazy developer. I love to, to cut on development time by basically sitting on top of others. And that's exactly what we can do here. It's beautiful, but it's also very flexible. If you love M365, you're going to get the look out of the box. But if you like to customize it, you're going to be able to come in and change all nubs, all settings to make sure that the components look like you want. And also, it works everywhere based on web standards. And it works on any web frameworks. So think about if you want to make your apps available in Teams, it's going to work over there. If you want to make your apps available in the SharePoint framework, it's going to work over there. If you want to make your app work in Electron or as a SPA, it's going to also work over there. And today, I think what I want to emphasize is that the Microsoft Graph Toolkit is absolutely in love with the PNP community. We've been sharing a lot of these how-tos in the last couple of weeks, but today, what I'd like is invite you on a journey that brings you back to MGT and also gives you the opportunity to start sharing your own symbol. So today, what we're going to do, we are going to demo our Microsoft Graph Toolkit sample repository with a couple of the cool goodies that we offer. It's going to be a little bit of a less technical session today, um, less code, but so much fun. So let me go on and start sharing my window. So here you see I am on github.com slash pnp slash mgt dash samples. This is where all of our samples are starting from. This is a very classic repo that we build that uses the same capabilities that the SharePoint framework, web parts repo uses, the teams are, do, do, uh, are using, that the Power Platform folks are also using. So you're going to be very familiar with this repository right there. In there, if you want to explore, what I invite you is to go on and look at the samples folder. In the samples folder, you will want you will find a series of different samples that you can see that community members have added in the past. Right now we have four samples, and I'd love to get within the next couple of weeks at least 15 to 20 samples that we can share with the community and make sure that you get highlighted by being the author or contributor to these different samples. I also strongly invite you to look at the Sharing is Caring initiative if you want to build your first sample and want to understand how and how it works with Git and VS Code, 
I invite you to go over there. I think that's going to be a great session for you. Now, um, let's look at one of these samples. Now we're going into GitHub. We're going to show you different ways later on how this can work. So let's start with, for example, the MGT get emails. Well, this is a great way to start. Here you're going to have a summary. We're going to always define and, and explain what this sample does with a nice uh, simple screenshot of what this functionality is. You're going to see what's the compatibility, what's the version of MGD that was tested with this uh, feature, with this sample, how it applies, what it applies to, who has been creating the, the, uh, the solution, when that was done, a couple of features. And I think a really, really, really cool capability, which is something that we added on our playground. MGT has a playground where you can play around MGT live in your browser. But here, what we're doing is we're connecting the dots between our repo, between our samples repo, and the MGT playground. So what you can do here, let me just open that in a new tab. Now you're going to open that up here. It's going to load, take a couple of seconds. And now, I don't know if you've seen it, but we've got uh, this sample right here. Interesting that it actually loads the a second. I'm just going to reload this. Might, might actually be a, a small bug we have. Well, we, like we have a bug, but let's pretend that this was the right sample that we're using here. It really brings a sample in here. So you can not only see it in a screenshot, but you can start playing with it. You can play around. You can really, really make it super, super, super simple for everybody to use. So um, that's a great thing that we have. Now from here, you can e even interact with it. For example, go to the launch team, do the design stuff, and, and really see how this plays out over here. It looks like we're having some interesting, I guess it's a launch time issue, right? We're going to come back to that a little bit later on. So a couple of things that I wanted to mention also is we also already got some really, really cool contributions from the community. So for example, this MGT get multiple person was actually authored by our Microsoft list formatting and everything Microsoft 365 related uh, superhero, Andre did this really, really cool sample that kind of highlights you how you can leverage hover effects in MGT to bring more people inside a shorter or a smaller area into your screen. So how do you do that? Well, you have all the code. If you want to go to the source here, you're going to be able to see all the CSS, all the HTML right from here. But you will also be able, and let's see if we have a second demo effect or not. I should have tested that before. Here you should, oh, there you go. Now it works flawlessly. My, my mistake earlier. Here you see exactly what Andre had in mind when he was building his sample. He was using this, and I can actually go here and have the full uh, capabilities of all these really cool features that Andre built. So we would love if you could come to that repo and start sharing what you already built with the Microsoft Graph Toolkit, but also what you're envisioning and maybe even request new templates to be created. We have all of that. You can log in an issue over there. You can start discussion. You, create que you can uh, create new questions. All of that is already pre-configured for you. Now let's go see what our other samples that we already have, one of them being a team's channel messages, which seems to be what we saw a little bit earlier, but um, replicating some of the team's capabilities. So let's go and see how this was done. And I'm going to let you uh, go into the very like nitty-gritty details. I won't go into super deep in there, but I want to show how powerful this can be when, as a community, we come all together and we really make sure that we have all that thing played out. Just to make it on purpose, it looks like we're having some issues today. Oh, there we go. Now it's loaded. I think it was a GitHub issue. I'm going to put that on GitHub today. Um, so if I go to design, for example, here, I'm going to have a load. And now I have the full capabilities of Teams here with the replies and all of that when I'm using just a couple of line of HTML with some of the components that we already mentioned in the previous call. So you're more than welcome. Go on and start exploring the repo. But if you're more like me, maybe you want to search for stuff. 
We're happy today to announce that we are also making available all of these samples inside the sample solution gallery. So for example, I can go here and I can actually search for the Microsoft Graph Toolkit. And when I hit search in here, you will be able to see all the different solutions that are utilizing the Microsoft Graph Toolkit and all their authors. So you're gonna be able to go here, go and see, I'm very interested into that demo. I click on this one, I'm gonna have the full page for that specific demo. And then afterwards from there, I will be able to go and see the repository directly inside GitHub, or I will be able to download the code right from here. And also I'm gonna be able to see all the different components that have been used. So I'm using MGT get, MGT person, and the MGT teams channel picker. So when you're looking at this option, you're gonna really know what is being customized and how this solution was built. Finally, you can go and click on view on GitHub where you will be able to find, again, the link to bring you back to the playground. Like this, where you will be able to experience it live for you right from here. So. That's what I wanted to showcase today for the Microsoft Graph Toolkit. Let me go on, stop sharing and reload my deck in just one second, just so we can finish with a couple of links. So a couple of resources, the repo for MGT in general, um, aka.ms slash MGT, our documentation, aka.ms slash MGT slash docs, our issues, the samples that we just talked about, aka.ms slash MGT slash samples. If you want to play within our playground or you want to learn more about MGT, feel free to visit all of these links. And it was a fun series. Let's see if we do a season two in a couple of weeks when I'm back at work. I thought it would, it would be a great moment to wear my giraffe suit today to close that series. So it was great to go through all of these MGT content with all of you. If you have any comments, any feedback, feel free to go to our repo, create an issue, or just drop them in the chat right here. It was great to see that. Brian, back to you. Thank you so much, Seb. We really appreciate the, was it 15 or 16 uh, 15, weeks worth of 15. 15. That <laughs> is an amazing accomplishment. We appreciate all of the uh, time and planning and effort that you've done to putting this in. And again, yes, we've got lots of requests already for uh, <laughs> season two. Uh, do not worry, community. We've already talked with the Graph DevX team about some other uh, series for potential futures. So again, thank you, Seb, for back. all of this. I'm sorry yeah. about that. <laughs> <laughs> No worries. All right. Thanks so much, Deb.